The Australian athletic titles in Melbourne, an Olympic tryout with crack sprinters flying for the tape in the 100 yards. Title holder Hogan slowly away and Ray leads at the halfway mark. But watch Hogan now. He's won by inches from New Zealand to Ray with Bromhead of New South Wales third. Hogan's a real champion, but the crowd of 20,000 is much more interested in the mile and the world's greatest miler, John Landy. There's a jostling start and Landy's in the middle of the field when they settle down, though he's quickly going up to fifth. Morgan Morris of Victoria is the early leader from Clark, Victoria and Henderson, New South Wales. Plummer is making up ground and Landy, 112, is running easily just behind the leaders. The first lap takes 59 seconds. They pass the halfway mark in two minutes, two seconds, and then there's a sensation. Exclusive picture of Clark's fall, made available by courtesy of the Melbourne Sun. Landy ran on a few strides and then came back to help his fallen opponent. A truly magnificent gesture of sportsmanship. Recovering, Landy runs off the track slightly, but he's soon back, chasing the leaders to whom he's given a good 35-yard start. Plummer's gone to the front now with Henderson coming at him, and Landy still 20 yards behind him, but gaining with every stride. The crowd is wild with excitement. Never has there been such a race. With giant strides, the world champion races past Henderson and puts in a paralyzing burst as he sprints for the tape, drawing away yard by yard despite a bruised in step and the loss of at least five seconds in the fall. He's a great champion, all right, champion runner and true sportsman. He sacrificed all chance of a new record. He's risked disqualification by stepping off the track, but he's still first to the tape and still the champion. Landy's first thought after the race is for Clark, whose arm was spiked during the race. It's not a Landy record this time, but it's a miracle run all the same.